Addressing Social Inequality with Open Source Sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 399. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. This is our November 15th, 2020 edition, and my name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of One Community. If you're not already familiar, One Community is bringing to people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability and as a pathway to addressing social inequality with open source sustainability, or as an example of addressing social inequality with open source sustainability, which is our topic today. And how do we do that? Well, imagine what the world would look like if we could implement a model where every single person had a place to live, where everyone had healthy food that they could eat, where everybody had access to a quality education and it was free. What would that, how would that change the social equality globally? What would the world look like if we built a global cooperative and collaborative of teacher demonstration hubs that were designed not just to go into places and fix problems, but to go into places and teach people how to address the challenges within their area themselves. Teacher demonstration hubs that were designed to teach people how to build sustainable infrastructure that lasted longer, created healthier, toxin-free environments, and were sustainable in their creation process rather than destructive in their creation process. Now apply that same idea to food, to education, to energy infrastructure, as well as to economic models, and you've ultimately created a true earth stewardship model that simultaneously addresses the lack of sustainability in all these in different industries and can contribute to global social to addressing global social inequality. That's what we're doing. We're addressing social inequality with open source sustainability. And so our open source sustainability model takes those foundations that I just mentioned. And there's a couple others. You have food, energy, and housing. Then you have the emotional foundations, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices. That's key, demonstrating a way of life that is more enjoyable than the way people are living right now, as well as high school education models, as well as high school economic models, nonprofit and for profit models. And then the true st earth stewardship as a component in and of itself, putting all that together and demonstrate it's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that it'll spread on its own and creating an evolution, demonstrating an evolution of sustainability that provides a way of living that's better than the way that most people are living now in the United States and open source and free shared so that people all over the world can live this way if they want to. You know, like we can share this with impoverished countries and help them to green the desert, you know, help them to clean the water and address the problems that they're having with disease and, and digestive issues and all the death that's happening because of unclean water so we can clean up the garbage on the planet. You know, but how do we do that? Well, we don't do that until people have enough so that they have additional bandwidth, additional energy, additional resources to help others. And so we're creating a space for people that believe that a self-replicating model designed to meet everybody's needs such that they have so much surplus that they're available and they want to share that because we believe that, an, that humanity is an empathic civilization, that we are an empathic people, that we, we feel for other people. We want to help other people. And science has confirmed that this is true. And so addressing social inequality with open source sustainability is through creating a sustainability model that is open source and provides people a way of living where all their needs are met. And then from that place, trusting and knowing that most people, the majority of people, if all their needs are met, will give that extra to other people to help other people. And so one community is designed to do, is designed to do that. It's bringing other people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet, willing to dedicate the massive amount of additional free time and energy and resources that one community will create, not to just sitting on that, but to sharing that with others as well and helping others to be able to create this and starting this movement, this energy, this engine of social, environmental, human, civilization change towards sustainability, creating a sustainable world for everybody, a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. This is what one community is creating. 
And so how do we address social inequality with open source sustainability? Well, you basically create a model that benefits the people that live in that model that's more afford that's that's more affordable than the way that people are living right now, that is more sustainable, has a lower carbon footprint, that address that that has built into it how to deal with trash, how to recycle all of your all of your waste, how to compost all of your biodegradable waste. It just incorporates radical sustainability in the infrastructure and it's more affordable than the way that people are living right now. Because it's cooperative and collaborative, it provides more free time for people than they have right now. And because it's cooperative and collaborative in the fulfilled living and social architecture aspect as well, demonstrates that it also provides more fun and wonderful things to do with that free time and more access to toys and goodies and the things that a lot of people consider are really, really important, you know, or, or value in addition to that, like maybe a jet ski or a quad or, you know, having access to a vehicle or, you know, depending on where you're living, just having access to a computer. Well, by pooling our resources, we can do that. You know, there's already cities in Africa where they're so impoverished, but they've gotten together and they've created computer hubs where kids can use those for free and people are traveling from neighboring cities. Well, let's create teacher demonstration hubs that don't just provide computers, but also can provide food and energy and housing, knowledge and access to the resources and the knowledge necessary to replicate those as well. And let's spread this idea around the world and help the people that need it most while simultaneously helping ourselves. This is the world we want to live in, a world that's for the highest good of all people in life on this planet, a world where people are helping each other and cooperating and collaborating. And so our all-volunteer, non-profit, non-governmental organization, all-volunteer, including me, this is what we're doing. This is what we're creating. We're creating the infrastructure and the foundations for addressing, addressing social inequality and injustice with open source sustainability, addressing lack of housing, energy infrastructure, education, all of these things simultaneously, because we see it as a solution to war, we see it as a solution to poverty, we see it as a solution to crime, by giving people what they need and trusting that the goodness of humanity then, when people have what they need, they'll help others to, be, to get on their feet. And then those people can help others. And in so doing, we can help everybody. And so that's a big concept. You know, but if you read our website, we talk specifically about how that concept works. And one community will be the teacher demonstration hub prototype, the first one, inviting eventually hundreds of thousands of people to come and stay and experience what it is that we're doing and open sourcing and free sharing all of it. So it can be replicated as either that, as either that complete demonstration hub or as in all the individual components for people that aren't interested in the demonstration hub that just want to build a sustainable home or plant a garden or implement, you know, a highest good education model or economic model or any of the different aspects. All of it, little baby steps towards creating a better world for everybody. But if we all take those little baby steps, then we can do that. We can achieve this in our lifetime. Positively impacting the lives of everybody and ultimately creating a sustainable civilization that will transform our planet, rebuild our ecosystems, and demonstrate that we are capable of being the stewards that we are capable of being. We can do this. So that's what we're up to. If you like this idea, uh, subscribe, like our video, stick around for a couple more minutes, check out the bullet points on the big components of our project, visit our written blog if you'd like to see specifics on everything that one community has created just in the last week. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, 
all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.